Okay, now folks, we're gonna talk about intercostal nerves. So our objective, identify intercostal nerves, including their motor and sensory distribution. All right, giddy up. There we have the section of the thoracic wall again, and there in yellow is that intercostal nerve. And let's talk about how we get to that intercostal nerve. So to do this, we have a cross section through the thoracic wall. And some looking at what intercostal nerves are, basically this is what we need to know. Intercostal nerves segmentally supply motor innervation to intercostal muscles and sensory innervation to underlying parietal pleura and overlying skin. All right, let's do this again, shall we? Well, let's look for happy faces. There's the thoracic vertebra, and there is the sternum in cross-section, and there we have the scapula in cross-section. If we go over to the medial side of the scapula, we see and dotted out, there's the serratus anterior muscle, that supracostal plane. So deep to the serratus anterior, we have the external intercostal muscle, and then next layer down is the internal intercostal muscle and then the next layer in is the innermost intercostal muscle and so now we have that ventral ramus and the ventral ramus goes into the hypaxial muscles into the body wall so now if we can follow that ventral ramus out laterally and now when we get in between the internal and innermost intercostal muscles it changes its name from ventral ramus to an intercostal nerve it's like prince and the artist formerly known as prince same guy Two different names so here we have that inner a better example would be foothill boulevard you follow it down and then becomes 500 south exact same road just changes its name as soon as you get in between the ribs and in the intercostal spaces it becomes an intercostal nerve and the intercostal nerve you see dotted out all the way throughout that entire intercostal space. Now remember intercostal nerves have both motor and sensory component. The motor component is then going to send off these branches that are going to innervate these intercostal muscles. You see each of these branches going to intercostal muscles, those cute little ones, that's what's innervating those three layers of muscles. Now what about sensory? Well, there's this, see where that intercostal nerve is? Well, coming off of that intercostal nerve, we have this lateral cutaneous nerve that supplies all the sensory, the sensation of the skin in that lateral portion of the body wall. And then we also have this an intercostal nerve give off another branch that goes to the skin in the front of the thorax. We call those anterior cutaneous nerves. And so the sensory intercostal nerves provide sensation to the anterior and lateral portions of the associated segment or the dermatome. But they also do another sensory sensation. You see in blue that's around the internal surface of that thoracic wall, that's the parietal pleura. This is the mesothelium that's surrounding the lungs on either side. Now if we zoom in a little bit more, what we see is the following. Coming off of the parietal pleura, we've got these sensory neurons that are going into this intercostal nerve going back to the spinal cord. And I mention this because the parietal pleura in, that is in contact with the costal surface receives somatic sensory innervation, the exact same sensation as the skin. This will become clinically important when we start talking about things like pleurisy and infections and things. Intercostal nerve. Okay, so now we have an anterior view of all the ventral rami segmentally. So that yellow arrow is showing the T1 spinal cord level with the T1 ventral ramus. Now, as soon as we go laterally, what does it end up being called? A T1 intercostal nerve, which then gives sensory innervation to the T1 dermatome, that entire band of T1. Now, look, as we segmentally start going down, there's the T4 intercostal nerve. And, oh, look, there's the T4 dermatome for T4. That didn't sound, I totally chewed on those words. But if we continue going down at every segmental level, where we have a T7 intercostal nerve, it supplies the T7 dermatome, all the way down to T10, belly button, T11. And then the T12, we don't really call it an intercostal nerve anymore because it's not between ribs, it's below the bottom rib. So we call it the subcostal nerve, sub for below. So now let's talk about intercostal nerves in a nutshell, shall we? Well, intercostal nerves have the following features. They are continuation of the T1 to T12 ventral rami. Intercostal nerves also provide motor innervation to the intercostal muscles, and intercostal nerves provide sensation to the anterior lateral T1 to T12 dermatomes and the underlying parietal pleura. And there we have intercostal nerves, folks, in a nutshell.